What's up everyone, Matesh here, and I know it's only March, but we've already gotten our first look at Android P thanks to Google's developer preview one. And while there aren't a ton of huge changes to it, there are some notable ones. And so today I have for you guys five things that I think are worth getting excited for in Android P. So let's get started. All right, so at number one, we have probably the smallest change, but the one that I'm most excited for, and that is the fact that volume buttons in Android will now control media volume by default versus the ring volume. So for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, the fact is that you guys should know that Android has like multiple different volumes for things. So there's a call volume, sometimes there's a message volume, sometimes there's there's a media volume and then there's also alarm volume. So the media volume is the one that most people want to change. So like when you're watching a YouTube video or listening to music, media volume is the one that matters. But by default before it used to control the ring volume and I don't know, it was just wasn't very useful to me. I don't get that many calls and I'm not really usually worried about how loud the ring's gonna be because if it's, if, someone, if it's important enough for someone's calling me, I'll probably answer it right away anyways. But yeah, for me, the fact that it now controls media volume is just like an obvious change that just makes a lot of sense. In fact, there's even an XKCD comic about this. Now, when there's an XKCD comic about it, you know that it's affecting a lot of people. So I'm pretty sure a lot of people will be happy to see this change. And I personally think it's awesome. And that's why I placed it at number one. I know most of you are going to be like, this is stupid. Is there even anything worth an Android P if this is number one? But trust me, this is an awesome thing. But yeah, that's probably enough said about this little tiny change. So let's go ahead and talk about the number two thing, which is UI changes. Now, UI changes are the first things that most people will see when they get the new version of Android. But the thing is, most people will not see it because they own a phone by Samsung, HTC, LG, whoever. They've made their own changes to it, but if you're on the Pixel, these are the changes that you can expect to see in Android P. Starting off, you're gonna see that Android has decided to round off everything, so the notifications are now are slightly more rounded, the quick toggles are rounded, the search bar is more rounded. And I think that's gonna indicate the fact that I think more displays are going towards those curved edges, so I think it's just a go along with that aesthetic. And a couple other things, um, you've got a new splash of color in the settings menu, so each of the icons has a new color to it. It's a bit Samsung touch whizzy for me, but you know, I don't care. It's looks good enough anyways. Quick toggles now have a color also. Something kind of dumb that they did with quick toggles though is that they took away the expandability. So before on quick toggles, you used to have a little drop down where you could go in deeper and then go ahead and change it. So for example, on Bluetooth devices, you could actually click a little drop down and you could disconnect from a device or connect to another device right from the notifications. But now you have to long press it and go to Bluetooth settings, which I think is just a step backwards. I'm not sure why they did it. I don't know if it was too complicated for people, but it was something that I use all the time, so this is a kind of a disappointing thing. Some other small UI changes. There's one thing that's gotten a lot of attention, and that's the fact that Android now has support for notches. Now, I don't know how big of a deal this is. I don't know if it's really an indication that Pixel 3 will have a notch or not, but it's there. Um, I don't even know if they needed to really add this, but it is a way to allow developers to get ready for the notch features that we're about to embark on. So yeah, notches they're probably here to stay. But yeah, that's pretty much about it. Uh, there, there isn't a major huge redesign in language. It's pretty much the same material design that we've seen before with just a slight tweaks. All right, so at number three, we have security features. So Google recently has gotten a little bit more serious about locking down Android. So with every new release, we've seen more and more restrictions on what apps are allowed to do in the background. So with the new version of, with Android P, we're gonna get two more restrictions and they're the fact that background apps will not be allowed to access um, the microphone or the camera. So I know what most of you are probably thinking, like, wasn't this already a thing? Like I was surprised that background apps were allowed to access microphone and camera, but yeah, apparently it was not a thing already. And so with Android P, they will not be allowed to do this anymore. So hopefully this will put to end all those rumors about Facebook listening into you. I'm doubtful it will, but you know, yeah, one can hope. So yeah, that's something new that's coming, more restriction to apps. Uh, another thing that they're adding is a new thing called lockdown mode. And this is something that once you enable it, it's gonna force the user to enter in the pattern unlock or the pin unlock or password, whatever you have. That's something that you know versus a biometric thing like your fingerprint, your face, however, the new versions of Android will handle it. So what this will allow you to do is just to be able to lock your phone and make sure that you have you have to be the one to do it. Nobody can just take your finger and put it on there or point the phone at your face like you can with an iPhone and unlock it. So 
it's interesting. I'm not sure how useful it will be, but it is there. So they are taking security a little bit more seriously, and I like to see that from Google. All right, so at number four, we have a new type of notification for messaging apps. And what this new type of notification is going to allow you to do is get a couple cool new features. Uh, one is the fact that it's going to allow you to put photos in line, like multiple photos in line. And number two, what it's going to allow you to do is have smart replies. So let's go ahead and focus on that number two first. It's smart replies. Um, so for those of you who haven't used Allo, and let's face it, that's most of you, um, it has this nice little feature called smart replies where it'll go ahead and suggest replies that you may want to say. And the nice thing is they're not stupid suggestions. They're actually kind of smart. So it's great for whenever you want to say like short things like I'll be there in five minutes or I'm running late or okay or Yes, whatever you simple answers that it can provide for you without you having to type it. So these these will be available in line in notifications now. So that's pretty cool. And the other thing was I mentioned was the photo. So now before Android used to, if you had more than one picture or if you had picture and text, what it would do is like just collapse it and just say picture instead of actually showing you the picture. So now it's actually going to show you the picture. It's actually going to also add the person's face next to it. So if you're in like a group message, it, it'll allow you to see multiple people and their different messages and things like that, which pretty useful, I would say. And the nice thing is what this is going to really do is the fact that you can actually pretty much just have an entire conversation just in notifications. You're not going to have to jump in and out of a messaging app. You can just entirely do it all in notifications, which you know, it could be pretty useful. Like it's something that I definitely handle from notifications most of the time versus going inside the app, except when it's like multiple messages they've sent me and I want to take time to reply to all of them. This might make it easier to just reply from the notification. So kind of a nice little feature to have. All right, last and actually probably the least one is the fact that we are going to finally get a screenshot editing tool built into Android. So this is something that's been missing from Android since day one, obviously, since they're just getting it now, but it's something that other manufacturers have built in. So Samsung has a great screenshot editing tool. The last phone that I was on, the ZTX on 7, had a great one too, but Android has just never had a proper tool for it. So we're finally getting it in something called markup. So what it's gonna do is just allow you to mark up a screenshot so you can go ahead and circle things point stuff out you know all the cool stuff now this is actually something that i mentioned in my uh video that i did a long time ago about ios 10 where i asked google to copy this feature and well they didn't listen to me i know they listened to everybody else but it's something that they pretty much just straight up copied from ios and i think it's about time it's about time that people on stock Android can have a screenshot editing tool just built in. I don't know why they waited so long, but hey, happy that it's here now. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, that's all the features that I think are pretty exciting. Now there's a ton of small stuff that's out there that's in Android P that I didn't cover in this video. So, so I'm gonna leave a link down below to Android Police's articles about this because they have done a deep dive. They've gone really deep in every single feature. So if you guys are interested in finding out all the little tiny things that are changing, make sure you check out their website and the links are down below. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have for you guys in this one. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys think is the most exciting part of Android. If you think, if you agree with me that it's that volume media change or if you think I'm stupid and crazy for it, let me know down below. Also. Let me know what you think Android P is going to be. Uh, my money is going to be on peppermint. A lot of people are thinking it's pumpkin pie, but you know what? Pumpkin pie is gross. Gross. So I don't think it'll be that. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have for you guys in this one. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.